Hello people, how are you? My name's Kev, this is Angling and Anxiety. It's all about the angling. That's about the anxiety. Right, welcome back to Angling and Anxiety, everyone. Um, <laughs> so, you clicked on this video purely because you saw my car sinking in the sea. Fair play. I don't blame you. Um, Went out for a last trip. I basically, I, I've done all vigilant up. Spent loads of money on my car, spent loads of money on my boat. I've done all, spent all of this money, done it all on my car and that. Got a new gearbox, new this, everything lovely. Thinking, right, this is me now. I've done everything. It's all ready to go. I'm going to take my boat out one last time on the trailer and then I'm going to moor it. So, I take my boat out. I have a terrible day's fishing um, in waters I've never actually fished before. And... <laughs> yeah, unimaginable happens really. I'm on the slipway. Um, I retrieve. I, I launched my boat three hours after high tide. Bear them, so that means that I've gone past the point of where I slipped after trying to retrieve it. So I launch it at three hours after. I try and retrieve it two hours after. For some reason, apparently now I've been told that there's certain parts of the slipway that are less slippery than others. I didn't know this, so I've just put it onto the slipway. Um, basically, with Nick on the, on the back, uh, with waders on, on the trailer, putting the boat onto the trailer, I was on the, uh, in the car, and my car started hurtling out of control, slipping, so I did four wheel drive, low range, um, and I was absolutely pinging it. Trying to try to try to pull myself up a slipway. Next thing you know, the car's engulfed in water, and at that point, I thought, right now, I've got to give up on the fact that this car's done. I've got to give up on the fact that the trailer's done. I need to get out of the car. So I thought, right, open the door. Door wouldn't open. Car's spinning up. I'm talking within seconds, mate. Freezing cold water. So I panicked. I thought, trying to kick the door, trying to get everything open. Luckily, the window was open a little bit from where I was using it to look out the window to. to like getting the trailer down. But I've had to swim, not climb, swim out of the car um, and managed to save myself basically. Uh, and then got out and then quickly, as you do, being a YouTuber, got the car, got the phone out and we re basically recorded the last minute moments um, of the actual car finally taking its plunge to its death. I've then stood there for five, six hours with people who video with me, as you do in 2021, that's what people do. No one else in the world. Um, and then freezing cold in freezing cold wet clothes. Mum come and dropped me some clothes and some food uh, after a couple of hours. The police, Kent police, thank you very much because they let me jump in the back of their car with some heating on. I'm now in a predicament where I've got a car that's no good. I've got a trailer that's attached to the car because in the kerfuffle I lost my boat keys and my trailer keys, so I can't undo my hitch lock, so I can't even go and get the trailer to get the boat, because I've not got boat keys or trailer keys. Um, so yeah, real bad turnout, but here's how the day was. Um, and just a massive, massive lesson here. Always have your window open when you're, on, when you're launching, and never, ever, ever have your children in the car because it could have been a whole lot worse. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> I will be back, I promise you, I'll be back. Tell them, so don't forget to subscribe. Right, here it goes anyway, Kushti. Ah, another drama and anger and anxiety. Right, welcome back guys. Hello to all the newbies that have just come onto the channel. Um, can't say me, but my name's Kev. So Vigilant has been cut down and this is the first trial run. We're at Dover. It's the craziest slip I've ever used in my life. We've got to make sure we don't hit one of them over there. Um, so yeah, gonna get the boat in the water. And then what I do is I bring you back when I'm out in the water and I've got everything organized and stuff. And we'll go from there. So see you in a sec. Right guys, and we're off. Um, have a little boat over there. We're out to call through to radio and stuff. Call through to Dover, number channel 74. Um, I wasn't aware of what you have to do and stuff. So I wanted to ring them up to double check before I launched, uh, before I left. 
yeah, we're on our way. I've got Nick here with us. Charlie was coming with us, but unfortunately, he felt really, really ill before when we got to the petrol station to fill up, so he could have come, um, which is a bit gutting, really, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get out of the water, try and find some fish, and go from there. All right, we're out here, guys. That's Dover, that's France. Um, just setting up now, getting some gear set up, getting a few wrecking rigs set up. We're just out here really having a go. Well, I've got no intentions of catching any fish. If we do, it's a bonus at the end of the day. We have come fishing, but um, more or less just trying to get used to the boat. Not quite sure what I'm making the boat in a minute. Um, there it is. It's quite different to drive. Uh, but just going to have to keep going, don't we? Just have a go, really. But yeah, we're going to get the rod set up. I'll put you on the side when we're having a little run over. Just working out the drift and stuff at the minute. And then we'll go from there. Right, we're just over the top of a random wreck here, guys. We missed the opportunity to get to where we wanted to be. Um, we wanted to go over a certain wreck, uh, a certain set of banks to get some sandals, but we missed a, missed a slot, so we're going to cut the wreck. Which we seem to be over now. Well, it was over. Miles down, miles down that way. Oh, it's still forward, that's why. You should scoff. Down that. Go back over that because I've got one slightly. Schoolboy error. Back over it. Not the end of the world. At least we know there's one now. So I'll bring you back in a second. Right, just decided we're going to anchor up for a bit. Um, yeah, just going to anchor up and have a go, really. Chuck some squid out and just see if we can just catch a fish. <laughs> Anything will do right now. So, rather a lovely set of sandbanks. And we're going to get some squid and some bait out and just go from there. Got our rods out, three rods out and squid, just chilling for now. Sometimes you just want to chill, and that's exactly what I want to do right now. Got a little mate over there with a little seal that's coming up. Keeps uh, swimming in the boat. There he's over there, you can't see him, but he's over there. Please easy, there's fish here. <laughs> Whether we can catch one or not though, who knows. Simple old squid, see what happens, have a go, eh? Don't know if you can see that, guys, but you see the different colorations. You can see the sandbanks as such. It's quite crazy. Big tides today. There's a lot, of, a lot of tide pushing through. A little seal man's gone there. Yeah, you can see the brown and then the green. It's pretty cool. But yeah, like I said, it's just a test run today, really. Just get out. It's just nice to get out. Nick's not been out for a while. He's just had a little baby, so he's out. Um, loads of room. Loads of room. I need to get a seat here because it's not very comfortable when you're driving it. So I'm going to put a seat back in. Still got a little cabin which I'm sat in now. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, man. It's nice to be out. It's not many clouds in the sky. You can't really moan, can you? Yeah, I'll vigilant. Just approaching a wreck, guys. And again, another wreck I know nothing about. <coughs> Just jumping on Navionics and having a go. I can see where they are because the water's really distorted. Um, so you can see what sort of where they are. Just wait for me. Let's just find and sort myself out. Let me get back over here. Bear with me, people. Bear with me. Right. So. Yeah, no more listen. Just sorting the fish finder out, guys. Just to excuse the camera angle. Here, cursor. There you go. Right. So, I ain't going nowhere. It's extremely, extremely choppy. Where it says the wreckage. 
Right, I'm on the bottom, reel up 10 turns, just to get it off the bottom, nice and slowly reel it in, don't know if you can actually see, nice and slowly, so the wreck's just approaching, just reel it in a few turns, so 20 turns, oh, I'm on the wreck, <laughs> probably just took my uh, lure, but it's a monstrosity of a wreck. It's two wrecks together. Yeah, it took me lure, so I'm gonna to have to re uh, time my lure. I'll show you how I've got it set up. So, this is tied to my main line. Weight's clipped onto the bottom. This comes off of it. I've got probably about two meters of amnesia, fluorocarbon, whatever you want to use, tied onto your lead, uh, your lure, sorry. What you do is, just for those who don't know, get your lead, drop your lead on this hand. I like to drop my lead and I like to throw my lure. That way, this will sink one way, the lure will be following it behind, wiggle, 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 jobs are good. And I'm going to get back over the wreck, back in a minute. And that's what I mean by swirls, people. Have a look at that. Just scary. <laughs> Two wrecks right next to each other. Well, oh. <laughs> 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 So there's the boat that's going to tow Kev's boat. That's Kev's boat. That's Kev undoing the boat. There's the police officer that's been helping us. There's P&O Ferry. And in the middle is where Kev's 4x4 and trailer is. You can just see a little bit of his license plate poking out. I was still speechless. I almost drowned. But good thing I'm a strong swimmer. Fuck me, I had waders on and everything. So I was just speechless. <laughs> Poor old Kev. Oh, oh, we do like to be beside the seaside. <laughs> Very far. There she is, people. Oh. The feature on the built and the trailer. Unbelievable, man. Horrible experience. But there she is, and there is Dover in all its glory. And I've still not managed to sort out recovery, try and get me out. Unbelievable. Right, yes. no. people. She's recovered by this absolute diamond in this discovery. Yeah, there she is. She's back out. You wouldn't even think that she'd been in the water for the last four hours, drowning. But yeah, <laughs> angling anxiety, baby. Don't ever forget it, because I'm going to be all over the news viral, mate. I had so many people here. But look, the worst thing is I can't find my boat keys. So I'm in a little bit of a predicament with that, because it's got the trailer keys and everything on it. But I'm safe. My car is safe. Well, it's not safe, but the moral of this story is, guys, make sure when you go in a slipway, have your window open if it's dangerous. So, yeah, there it is. Um, again, the footage is here, there, and everywhere. It's not like a Steven Spielberg, do you know what I mean? And I obviously, I had other things on my mind and trying to get my camera out. Uh, but yeah, massive lesson learned. To once it wasn't my fault, you know what I mean? Obviously I could have done things to avoid it, but that's always in hindsight, there's no point kicking myself about it. I was adamant I was gonna sell vigilant. I'm not gonna sell vigilant. Um, but I am gonna put her into moorings and I am gonna knock her in the head for a little while because it's driving me insane. I'm so far balls deep in debt, in stress, um, and
and just generally it's wearing me out and that's not what fishing's about or angling anxiety. But <clears throat> it is what it is. An angling anxiety was is made and created to prove that no matter what life throws at you, power on man. All in the name of fishing and mental health and just generally trying to be a good representation. Um, Thanks for anyone who voted me for the uh, Kent Wellbeing and Mental Health Awards because I'm I've, I won that and I'm bloody over the moon with that. So thank you very much. Never won anything. I literally never won anything in my life. And a year of doing angling and anxiety, and I've won an award for, for doing good in the world. So I appreciate every single one is for, for that. Um, like I said before, if you haven't followed me on the socials, go and follow me on the socials. It's basically I run a 24-hour help service. So if you need help with anything mental health-wise, fishing-wise. I'll always, 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 um, I will always help you out uh, if I can. I'm not a psychiatrist or a doctor or anything like that, but I've, I've been a drug addict. I've had some real, real, real shit um, experiences in life, and I've done since I was younger. Uh, so I've, I've been through a lot of stuff. I've been to prison. I've, I've, I've lived in hostels. I've struggled to eat, I've struggled to live, I've lived in the so I've lived in the woods, I've lived in sofas. I've had a rough old life, um, and I finally sorted myself out and I live a reasonably good life, minus the absolute terrible bit of luck I have. But yeah, it's there, if you need me, it's there, do you know what I mean? And I, I'm, I honour it as well, I'm not one of these people who say it, and then they won't reply to your messages, it could be two, three in the morning, I always honour it, I always, always, since I started, I've always honoured it. And I'll get messages from people every single day telling me how I've helped them and just me trying to be a positive positivity in the world is helping people out. So for that massive and if this one video stops one person from drowning when they're launching their car, launching their boat with a car or whatever, I've done a good job. So happy days. Won't be long until I'm back. Won't be long until I'm back. Uh, I will be out fishing very, very soon. Whether it'll be on my boat or not, don't know. But I'll be back to fishing soon. I've had a brilliant season, I've had some world class fish um, and I can't wait to get back out one way or another. But yeah, thanks for watching, take care everyone, long live boat fishing and I love you all, thank you.